What's up y'all? Welcome back. I am looking a little rough today. It was such a hard day today. I left my little one at pre-K and it was so it was so heartbreaking. He was crying. He was I, I my eyes are swollen because I was crying literally all freaking morning. I got home. I didn't even want to get off. I didn't want to come inside because I was just so like I wanted to go back and get him. And you know, it's some people may be like, okay, it's just school, calm down, like don't even you're just you know, we're exaggerating, but y'all when I tell you that he was literally begging me. He just kept begging me. I'm sorry, mom, I'm sorry, mom. I wanna go home, mom, I wanna go home, I'm sorry. It was so it was so heartbreaking. Like if you're a parent, you you know what I'm talking about. And it was just so this morning has just been it hasn't been the best. Um so I'm hoping I know it's gonna get better. Everybody says it's gonna get better. Um, you know, it just takes time and it's hard, you know, letting the baby go and I know it's just I want it to already happen, you know, because I can't handle any more of him asking me to take him home, saying he's sorry, I'm sorry, mom, sorry, mommy. It's just so heartbreaking, y'all. Just thinking about it gives me so sad. He wasn't like, he he would cry a little bit when I dropped him off, like the first day, the second day, but once, um, you know, today or yesterday, we had to start leaving them in the front, he... He, he just didn't want to today like he and it sucks because when I pick him up after school he's so happy yesterday he started telling me mom mommy you pick me up mommy you pick me up thank you thank you I've just been sorry y'all that's why my eyes are like, like puffy anyways Let's continue. Um, I figured I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go meet up my friend for lunch. So I figured I would turn on my camera and get ready. You know, just get my mind off of this morning, you know? So right now I'm just brushing my hair. I took a shower last night and I didn't even brush it, honestly. I just went straight to bed. I was so tired last night. I actually went to sleep kind of late, which I regret because in the morning I don't want to wake up. So um, brushing my hair right now. I'm just using my, um, what is this brush called? Tangle Teaser Brush. It's like a wet brush. I don't really like it, honestly. It kind of hurts. And then my dog chewed up this side, so excuse this. Um, this brush was like $14, y'all. I was not about to trash it because my dog did that. So I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the most out of it. But um, I just use this while my hair's wet. It's kind of damp right now a little bit from the back. So I'm just using that right now to brush my hair. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. I already brushed my hair. Um, I don't have any like certain hair routine. Like my hair's pretty long. It grew so long. I actually need a haircut. I wanna add like layers and stuff to my hair. But um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this heat protected spray. This is from Foxy Bay. Um, I actually found this at TJ Maxx. It was $6.99, so not bad. Um, I always want to order it online. I'm just gonna add this all in here. I always want to order it online, but I went to TJ Maxx and they have a lot of they have like Foxy Bay stuff there, like even straighteners. I was like, I'm just gonna pick it here so I don't have to wait, you know, for it to get here. So I literally just put this all over my hair, Whew, and it smells so good. I got this back in December. Um, this is like a Christmas or not a holiday edition. This is a Revlon. Curler, no, Revlon blow dryer straightener. Oh my god, I forgot the name. I'm so sorry. Um, and it, no, it doesn't say it on here. So, this is the tool that I'm gonna be using for my hair today. This is just going to straighten it, blow dry it, give it some volume, and just leave it super soft and shiny. I swear, this this tool is amazing, amazing. I love it. I use it all the time um, when I don't want to straighten my hair. So what I do is I like to part my hair first. So I'll just grab like the top part. I work on the bottom first when I use this tool or pretty much every time like when I straighten my hair or something. I rarely straighten my hair like ooh, maybe like once every two weeks. Honestly, like I'll straighten my hair. Most of the time I have it in a bun. I'll have it um, just in a bun or I braid it or I have it like in a little pony or um, 
I use my tool, this Revlon tool. So, so it has settings. It has a cool and then the low and a high setting. Make sure that your hair is brushed before you use this because there's times when like I'm like in a rush and I don't like I don't brush my hair like right. So I'll just start brushing it with this and it can like come off, you know. So I'm gonna speed through this because um, it's gonna take me a while and I don't want to bore y'all. So. tell you my hair is so bouncy you're gonna see at the end when I'm done it leaves it so bouncy so then I'll just grab this top part I'll put some hair down <laughs> I have to look at my lens that way I can see myself because I don't have a mirror in front of me I like to kind of if it's if it gets a little tangly I'll just push through a little bit Not even kidding. Look at how beautiful it leaves my hair. It just leaves it so soft and just so. Oh, I love it. I see all this right here. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Though. Make sure you always use a heat protectant. What I like to do with this front part, which is still, it's not fully dry, but it's a little damp. Well, I focus it right here on the back. Hair is completely dry. Um, I don't go in, I don't straighten it anymore. I just kind of leave it as it is. Let me see if I can show y'all. So this is the length of my hair. Um, super, super long. Oh my gosh, I'm just now seeing how long my hair is, but that's so crazy. Um, I'm gonna go get a cut. I'm gonna go get like some long layers, but this is the hair after I use the tool and it's super bouncy and super soft the reason why i love that tool um i usually just kind of style it to the sides or like i'll just kind of flip it around but it makes me feel like i have a lot of hair when i don't i really don't have a lot of hair like my hair is very very thin back in the days when you would color your hair like crazy not thinking of the consequences in the future but um yeah so this is the hair y'all so then what i usually have to do next sometimes i'll do this sometimes i don't it just depends i will grab the sea salt texturizing spray, which is also from Foxy Bay as well. Um, and I like to just add a little bit of this, like right to the roots, like right in the top only. And I kind of just like brush it in. I don't like to add a lot of this stuff because I feel like this already does it for me. Um, I, don't, I feel like I really don't need to add a lot of that texturizing spray. I will kind of do like a little cut back here as well. And then I'll add a little bit back there as well and then just kind of rub it in there with my my hands after I do that um, I wish I'll grab my bio silk therapy which is just this little um, tube bottle right here which I a little bit and then a little goes a long way with this stuff so I just rub it in my hand and then I'll just apply it 
to the bottom parts of my hair only i don't apply it to the top i only do the bottom I'm telling you this tool will change your life i'm pretty sure they still have it this was the holiday edition so that's why it's red and black but i know it's like pink and black um so that is the hair let me show you guys one more time with like the little oil and stuff super long I have to like scoot all the way back here for you guys to see me, but this is the hair. No straightener, no blow dryer if needed. I just use this tool right here. So my little mini hair tutorial when I'm actually trying to look decent and trying to go out somewhere. I will do my hair like this or I will straighten it. And when I do straighten it, I still use the bio silk when I straighten it. And I only use it from half of my head down. I don't use it up at the scalp. I don't use it anywhere up there. So yeah, that is a hair tutorial, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have not checked out my giveaway, check it out. It's my previous video. Um, you have until the 28th of August, which is this Saturday, to enter. My baby is home, y'all. The camera's right here. Look right there. Say hi. Hi. Did you, have Did you have fun at school today? Yeah. The teacher said that he cried. Yeah. Was kicking and screaming for like 15 Mom. minutes. Mom, yes. you don't want to try again. You don't want to try again. He doesn't want. We're gonna open tomorrow. Are we gonna go back to school tomorrow? Yeah. Are we gonna go back to school tomorrow? Yeah. Why? You were sad today. You were sad today. Were you crying in the morning? Were you crying in the morning? Did you sleep? Did you take a nap? <laughs> Did you eat lunch today? Oh, you slept at school? Is that how you slept? <laughs> Is that how you slept with your tongue out? Oh, stop. Oh, I'm just so glad. And we're going to do it again tomorrow and every single day of the year. So, Okay, you can go now. You can go play. I just wanted to hug. I wanted to give an update on my tooth. So, uh mentioned on my other videos i don't remember which one about me having tooth issues with my tooth back here my molar it's kind of dark in here i'm sorry i should have turned on the light but i'm just i'm so tired i went to sleep late last night and i hate going to sleep late last night because i regret it in the morning i don't want to wake up but i went to a dentist today back again to see if they could get me in because i was in so much pain um, when I tried to eat, I still, they just kept adjusting my bite and everything, and, um, they adjusted my bite again today, and I think the problem is solved. I'm crossing my fingers, I don't want to jinx it, but I tried eating something that's a little bit harder, that I, like, typically, like, I, I can't eat, because it hurts on my tooth when I bite on it. Um, so I tried to eat something that was a little bit hard, um, a chip, for instance, I tried to eat, and, um, it didn't hurt. So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> did they really fix my tooth? Like, am I not going to have any more issues? So I'm just like praying that I don't have any more issues because <sighs> it's not fun. It's not fun. Like some of my friends have told me, just just get it removed. Like pull your tooth out. Like what? I'm like, no, I don't want to remove my tooth. Like if it's still good, like I mean, I don't want to remove it, you know? So, but yeah, that's a little update on my tooth situation. I really need to decorate my room. My room still has like nothing on the walls. <laughs> I have nothing. Oh, shit, sorry. So my hair's still holding up good from, it is really hot outside. I was outside for a while earlier, so um, it did get a little bit like frizzy, you know? But um, yeah, right now I'm about to go pick up my son. He was at football practice. And then we're gonna go have dinner, just me and the kids. Husband is not here, so it's just us. And I don't know where we're going, but um, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. I was just, I needed to vent a little bit this morning and then I was like, I'm just gonna do my hair because I've been wanting to show y'all how I use the tool. I mentioned it a while ago on my Snapchat and a couple of y'all, like my friends and stuff, wanted to go buy it. So, um, but I have, they've been wanting me to do like a video, like how I use it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys soon.